everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do a Monate update video. And <laughs> I was thinking when I was getting the camera set up and everything, my heart is just pounding because for some reason, I would say um, besides maybe lip videos and my nose, my rhinoplasty, this has been the meanest, most controversial videos I have ever done. And I really have tried to take a step back and take some time off of doing the videos um, on this to kind of let it settle. And also I did go to Monations, which is a big like convention for Monate um, market partners. And I just had the best time. I won an award and I won an award for volume, which thanks to you guys from people just buying shampoo and conditioner from me. And it was just such a good time. I went by myself. Um, I did meet Jill there, who is my director. And, but I stayed in a room by myself and I was by myself a lot. And I really just sat back and just took it all in. It was the first thing I'd ever been to like that. This is the first um, multi-level marketing thing I have ever done. And I have had many, many, many opportunities to do it. I have friends that have sold Pampered Chef, Mary Kay, Avon, um, the children's clothes, everything. I mean, um, what is the other one? Um, there's another one that is real common. Oh, anyway, all of them. And I have never, ever been tempted. And I thought, I always thought that was the beauty of Monate with me is because when I was sent the Monate by one of my subscribers, I had no, I didn't know what it was. I really didn't even give it the proper introduction in my video. And then all of you, you know, wrote into me, oh, you've got to try it, you got to try it. And then, you know, it went from there. I will put um, my playlist of Monate down below. And it, it, it just really was like nothing I'd ever tried before. And you guys know I am a product junkie. Long before YouTube, I was trying every, you know, I mean, when, um, you know, of course, Pantene, every kind of product out there. And every hair salon that I would go to, of course, whatever hair salon you go to, whatever they sell is the best. And so they get you to buy all of their stuff, whatever they're selling. So I had used Shu Yumira, um, the um, Kerastas, which I do still love Kerastas. I had tried the Orbe. I had done it all. I mean, I had used it all. So for some, something to impress me that much, really said a lot to me. And so then I started selling it and then I just, I don't know, it came, it just really surprised me, the negativity. And I noticed that most of the negativity comes from the fact that you're making, I'm making money off of people buying it from me. Which if you think about it, if you buy from your hair salon, they're making money. If you buy from the store, they're making money. And I'm not sure why someone would not want me to make any money from them selling up, selling, signing up with me, but I know that there are a lot of things that I don't understand about stuff like that. So I'm just trying to um, kind of make you understand why I don't talk about this as much as I used to because it is such a negative thing. And to this day, I do not think it deserves all the negativity. But I will say that I have re reflected on my videos and how I came across in my videos and I am not perfect. And I am a very, um, Oh, I just, when I love something, I want you to love it. I want you to have it. I've always been this way. If I love Chick-fil-A salads, I want you to love Chick-fil-A salads. If I love the Real Technique brushes, I want you to love them. I mean, it's just, I want you to try them. I want you to love them. I just want to share it with you. And that is the part of the reason I'm here. And so that was a lot of the reason of my enthusiasm. So today I have written down this morning. I tried to think about it while I was, you know, catching up with my uh, video from yesterday and everything. And I wrote down things that I did or said wrong, wrong. I mean, things I wish I had maybe done differently. And a lot of this is when I went to the Monate convention, I was just blown 
away at the amount of professionalism, the care. I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I expected, but I was just so moved to my core from the owners, the creators. They had the scientist, the dermatologist, the nutritionalist, everything there. And we, ha we sat in these long conferences and learned for just, I think, three days in a row. And then at night, they you know, put on these great big shows. And I don't know about you, but I get impressed when someone goes that extra mile to show you how much they appreciate you. And Chanel is here with us. And um, so, but I, one thing I was impressed with is how much science there is in it. And whereas I just wanted to learn about the product. And I always thought to myself, I wish companies would spend that much time on their product as much as they do trying to get people wrapped up in it. You know what I mean? And when I was at the Monate convention, that is what I saw. I saw so much emphasis on the product. I couldn't believe, I was just blown away at how much money and time they put into um, just being innovative, staying up with the latest things. Um, to this day, if you, um, like Google, fastest growing hair care line. It is Monate. It is just blowing up. And it's because they are creating a wonderful product. They are just buying the best money can buy when it comes to, you know, scientists and analysts and all this kind of stuff. Plus, they spent a whole day on how Monate gives back to the communities. And it was just unbelievable. It was it would make you cry at all the different things they do to help the communities. Then so much emphasis was done on the people that sell Monade, people like me. And market partners, there's a whole range of market partners. There's people that sign up to be market partners and kind of like I do where I would love for you to buy from me and that way if you have a question, I can help you with it. Or people who do it and spend, you know, hours on it a day and are making, you guys wouldn't believe the money that people are making in this business. And it's such an opportunity. People would get up there and tell their stories how um, they never saw their husband because their husband was having to work. And, you know, I won't get into all that, but the opportunity is amazing. I've never been around a company or someone who wants you to thrive like they do. And so, I just really have, to this day, I have been with Monate for, I guess, April will be two years, and I just don't have a negative thing to say about it. And if I, I, I feel like people, I think that's what hurts my feelings when I do these videos, is people, they doubt my sincerity. And I'm here to tell you, if I didn't like it, Oh, first, I just wouldn't use it. I would just tell you about something else and link it down below. I would. Here are the things that I think and I said wrong. And um, they said this in the conference, and it was just, you know, a light bulb moment. It was a light bulb mo moment for me. And it really took a lot of the anxiety away. They said, you know, they were we were talking about, or, you know, the people on the stage and people in the audience, everybody was talking about, the negative things that people will say to you and all of the crazy accusations, you know, people saying it makes you lose all your hair, people saying it does this, it does that. I mean, just crazy stuff. And they were saying, you know, you cannot make everyone like it and not everyone has to like it and you are not the product. And that is, I think, what helped me because I was getting my feelings hurt if you said something bad or anyone said something bad or crazy about the product. And I cannot do that. I've got to say, I'm me, you know me, you know what I like, I love this product, but I am not the product. And I cannot get so defensive and get my feelings hurt like I have in the past about the product. So that is one thing that I did wrong. I need to separate myself and say, hey, if people don't like it, they don't like it. I'm not gonna argue back and forth with you in the you know, comment section about my part or something like that. You know, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just here to tell you, you know, how I feel. Okay. Um, and this is a silly little thing, but another reason I would have anxiety about doing the videos is I felt like I ha my hair had to be perfect. I felt like in order to, 
you know, tell you about my Nate, I felt like my hair had to be everyone's goal. And that's not true. Everyone has different hair. Unless, you know, a fairy godmother comes down and has a, a magic wand and grants me with, you know, really thick, healthy, you know, sides that I have never had, even as a child, I'm probably not going to have that. You know, Monate is not going to give you, it's an anti-aging hairline, and it's not going to give you something that you have never had, even as a child. I mean, some people might tell you that, but I'm going to tell you that it's only going to do the best that it can with the hair that God gave you. It's not going to, like, put extra hair. It doesn't create new hair follicles. It is only going to clean out the ones that you have. So I think that is a hang-up that I had, too. I would feel like, oh, gosh, you know, I can't be a good representative because I don't have hair like Tammy. You know what I mean? So that was a mistake I made. Everyone has different hair. It's, you know, it's shampoo. It's going to do the best. You know, we're using heat tools and everything. It's just going to be something that, you know, like I've said before, it's shampoo. Another mistake I think that I made, and this is because I was so, I don't know, enthusiastic and in love. It was, you know, you know, I just was so in love with the product that I really expressed that I felt like you needed to use all my Nate. And that really goes against everything I have always believed anyway. I don't think that you can get, I don't know, I don't know if you can get everything you need from any makeup line, any hair line, any food, any medicine. I think that things, you know, we're all different, you know. So I think that now I have certain things that I use and I try to be very honest down below when I put um, products that I'm using in my hair, I'll put... Um, I always use my name, shampoo and conditioner, but sometimes I might use a different oil because I had big bottles of expensive stuff down there that either I had already or companies sent to me or someone gave to me and, you know, I wanted to use those. So I think that was a big mistake I made and I'm sorry that I did that, that I misled you into thinking that you could not get any benefits from Monet without using the whole line. So that is something that I did wrong. Um, and then I have written down here that I was so excited. And I think that I was so excited that I may have made it sound like, um, you know, this was going to be that, you know, fairy godmother and the wand and give you something that you've never had. And I apologize for that. I didn't do it to like trick you or be deceitful. I just did it because I truly was excited. And I think if you've been here with me for a while, you know that things like that excite me. I love being a girl. I love being a woman. I love sharing things that make you feel pretty, make you feel sexy, make you feel healthy, make you feel good, confident. And this is one of those things for me. And, you know, I've said this before. There is no way in the world I would have my niece, my brother, my sister-in-law, my mom, my dad, and anyone else that I love my children, my husband, using something that I thought was going to hurt you. So I, you know, I, I feel like that's another thing. I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you that I'm telling the truth. I'm just going to, you know, you can take it or leave it. Okay, and the last thing, and this was a biggie, biggie, biggie that I got from the conference. I sat there and I listened and listened and listened and I was struck by the fact that not a lot of emphasis was put on new hair growth. And I I even I I even said that to Jill. I said, you know, I'm surprised that I haven't heard that. And, you know, they were um, introducing all these new products. They were introducing um, the new, um, you know, conditioner first line and all this stuff and all these innovative things. But they weren't just harping on, harping on like I had about new hair growth. And I think I might have misrepresented the company to you or the product, you know, in my own view. And I was just struck by how much new growth I'd had. And so to me, that was like the big kicker with me. Now, there's been people that have told me, oh, the reason you lost your hair or your hair was thinning is because of menopause. The reason your hair was thinning was because you had, um, when I had my rhinoplasty done, when you go under anesthesia, you lose hair. You know, we know you lose hair when you um, have children, after you have children. Well, that's true. I mean, you do lose hair for all types of reasons, especially hormonal reasons. 
but that doesn't mean that there can't be something that helps you get it back. So maybe I made it seem like you know, using other shampoos and stuff or using dry shampoo or whatever or not washing my hair long enough was the culprit. Who knows what it was? But I do know, I mean, I've got plenty of before and after pictures that you can see in my other Monate videos that I know for a fact I had new hair growing all over my head. And then I had people say, well, that's because of the hair that you lost when you started using Monate. Well, no, because I saw the new hair grow in right along my hairline within three weeks and I had not noticed any hair fallout. And the reason I did is because I had also started Obagi at that same time and I was using this crazy magnified lit mirror like I do in the mornings and kind of like examining my skin and that is when I saw the hair growing. I, I mean, I know these things for a fact. So, uh, but I, what I want to say is it's not only for new hair growth and it might not make your hair, you get new hair. So it's just an anti-aging, all around, healthy, um, clean, you know, sorry, let me get in a different position here. I always hate when I sit like this. I don't think it looks good, but I always end up doing that. I don't know why, I guess because it's just here. But um, it's a clean, you know, just food grade ingredient shampoo. And you can't say that it's all natural because if it was, if there weren't any type of preservatives in it, you'd have to keep it in the refrigerator. You know, so many people, like this morning, I had someone request that I do more clean makeup. And so I researched it a little bit and I was pleasantly surprised that I already use a lot of clean makeup. So I'm gonna do a video on that. But then I looked at some other products. Well, this is a clean hair care line and you know, so it's it's with the times, it's with the new, you know, they're, they've got the heat um, stuff that they've come out with, just everything. So I, I guess I'm gonna end with that and I, I want to apologize for any way I might have just misled you, um, overstated things and just gone off the deep end because I was just that excited. So now we will get into, I wrote um, what I did right and what I wanted to kind of emphasize. And the first thing is the shine. I swear, if you go back and look at my videos before I started my Nate, and I have always used top high-end products. And if you go and look at my videos before I started using my Nate and then look at it now, there is no comparison to the amount of shine that my hair has. There's just something different about it. It makes your hair shine like a child's hair. It just makes it so silky and shiny. So that is one thing that I, to this day, stand by. Clean scalp. I feel like Mane gives me the cleanest but not stripped scalp. And I feel like it just, like John has even said, this sounds corny, but he'll even say, I look forward to washing my hair in the morning with his Monate Black Shampoo. And I think that's because the men's is kind of like that minty um, feeling, like it's that cooling sensation, and he loves it. Makes your hair grow so fast. So I have four you know, small little tapian extensions on my sides, and I have it for the length on the side of my hair, but the main reason I have it, and the reason I don't go ahead and take them out, is I have it for the, it's like highlights. I just, when I went dark and then came back blonde, I fried my hair, and I was also washing it every night, um, heat styling it every night, and so this has been very good for me to just put these, you know, extensions in, have that little bit of brightness around my face, and you know, I love my hair every day, but I think I was going to growing. But I swear, the back of my hair is growing longer now than even my extensions. And I've had my hair cut, I think twice since I've had my extensions in. It grows like crazy. So I totally stand behind the fact that it makes your hair grow really fast. And then um, food grade ingredients, I've already told you about that, and much, much science behind it. And not Bobo, this is, I mean, it's like multi-million dollar company. So I just, 
I guess I'm going to go back to, I still love it. I still recommend it. I think, you know, if you tried it and you don't like it, then that is fine. You're not going to insult me. I do think that it's, you know, it's a higher end product. It is kind of expensive, but it's right up there with all of the other things like Kerastase, you know, all of the other products. Um, I know some of you don't like it because you can't buy it at Ulta or your, you know, salon. And I understand that. I do. I understand if you don't want to order it. You know, so I understand a lot of those complaints. Um, I don't, I'm not going to take it personally. I did notice, I asked, you know, a lot of people when I was there, I was like, what is with the, I mean, pure vitriol. I mean, the just... I've never experienced like the amount of hatred and she, you know and the, they explained to me that Monate is a disruptor. It you know came out of nowhere, you know, the hair salons they can't sell it, you know, on to their people unless they sign up for it and it's kind of a pain. They don't make as much money off of it, you know, right off the shelf. You know, I've even heard of um hairstylists saying they won't style your hair if you use my Nate, and I just think that is the craziest thing because nothing's going to do the damage to your hair that bleach does or perms or any of the other stuff that they'll do all day long. And are they going to not do someone that uses, I don't know, I just think that is craziness. But anyway, if that's your opinion, that's fine. And um, so that I guess that's the bottom line is I have full faith in it. I still love it. You know, will I use another hairspray or another dry shampoo or something? Yes. Shampoo and conditioner, Monate. I mean, I just have, I mean, I have even sometimes kind of like gotten bored or wanted to try something else and I will try it and I will give it away. I mean, it's just, that's how I feel about it. Um, so let me see what else I was going to say. Oh, this, I got this comment recently and I don't even think I've taken the time to go find it. I can't remember which Monate video it was on, but I, I think I got it when I was on my phone. Someone said that it stripped their hair color. Well, that happens, that can happen in the beginning because in the beginning, it's kind of removing all of the buildup that's on your hair. So if you can imagine, you know, the silicones and stuff that's building up on your hair. And I mean, a silicone free shampoo is not a new thing. You know, that's a known fact that the silicones, they might make your hair look good at first, but then they start making it brittle. And just like if you were to put, you know, Sesh Vite or a clear fingernail polish on your hair over and over and over. I mean, at first it looks pretty good, but eventually it's going to get cracked up, dull. It's not going to look good. And that's kind of how it is. So imagine if you had all those layers of clear nail polish but you then you put a color on top. Well, then you take something that's going to take that clear nail polish off. Of course, it's going to take that color off with it. But after you've gone through that kind of detox phase and you're getting all of the silicones and stuff off of your hair, you will be amazed at how good the color looks and how good it lasts. And I'm so glad I thought about this. I today and every day you have seen me for the longest time, I mean, for probably the past two months or so, I have absolutely no product in my hair. I get out of the shower, I put my hair up in a towel, I take it down, I take a pump of some kind of oil, it's usually the first one that I look around and see, and, and I will say that I love the Monate oil, I even have one up here right here that I use like wherever, if I want to put it on my scalp, if I want to put it on my heels, my fingers or whatever, I just keep one up here. But I am not crazy about this. I mean, I know that there's, I'm sure some kind of science behind this. I love to be able to pick up a thing of oil and pump. And I will say that that's probably why I don't use that as much like on the ends of my hair. And um, then I'm Sometimes we'll spray heat protectant, either the Monate Studio One, that's more of like a cream. I will either run that just through these pieces that are fragile anyway, or I have like the Jisoo heat protectant, I have a Kenra, you know, and I don't do that if I'm using the new Conair thing that I've been using because that thing does not get that hot. Everybody's been saying how hot the Revlon one gets. It doesn't... I can hold it in my hand while I've got my hair curled up in it. It doesn't burn my hand. I think, and here, to be fair, I don't want to 
I don't want anybody to say I'm just showing you extensions. Um, this is my hair, all my hair back here. And this is, of course, all my hair up here. And, all, and then what I love is look at this. Look how long my sides are getting and how healthy. And I mean, I have no product, no smoother, no styler, no styling cream, no overnight cream, no leave-in conditioner, nothing. And I totally think it is because my hair is healthy. It doesn't have any, you know, um, it doesn't have like a buildup on it. I'm, you know, not doing as much to it. And um, I'll link below my video on how having extensions has you know, helped me have healthier hair just because of the things that I need and things I was doing, like bleaching too much and styling too much. And um, so I really think that Monate helps with that. Okay, I'm going to end up this video. And I thought about bringing all the products up here. I have a whole basket full of them. And, um, but what I want to do is just tell you what I what my favorite is. And if you would like to, I will put my email down below and of course my Monate link. If you would like to ask me any questions about a specific product, I think it would be kind of long and boring for me to go through each one. But um, I can tell you I have tried them all. My two, a lot of people like the smoothing and I understand that. There are a lot of things that I can use and I will go and I will use a whole bottle and a whole conditioner. That's another thing. I'm not crazy about that whole, um, the way the conditioner is in that tube that sits upside down because mine gets in there and water gets in there and it gets almost soured, you know, smelling or whatever. I don't, I wish they would just put it in the bottle. So a lot of times what I do is keep the top off of it and just leave it on its side. And so I, if I had to tell you, my very favorite combo is Renew Shampoo and Revitalize Conditioner. And that is a moisturizing shampoo and a volumizing conditioner. So that way you get good moisture and it's going to be that moisture that makes your hair feel good and kind of slicky and good feeling in the shower. And then the conditioner makes it feel that way too, but not in a heavy way. But then when they came out with the advanced moisture line that has the whole hyaluronic acid, that is wonderful too, but it's going to give you a different feel. It's going to be the difference in Renew would be like putting moisturizer like Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream or something on your face. The advanced hydrating is going to be like putting hyaluronic acid serum on your face. You know how it's different? And I think that that's kind of like how I would describe them. When I use the advanced hydrate shampoo and conditioner, it isn't going to give you that slicky, moisturizing, like, you know, feeling. It gives you more of that sturdy, you know, kind of like moisturized within feeling. And you may still have to use, you know, something else to give you that slicky feeling. So um, that is, that's certainly not scientific. That's just how I feel. But I have used many bottles of that. I do love the way the advanced hydrating smells. Some people don't like it because it smells a little bit like a boyfriend scent, kind of like um, if I had to say aftershave or something like that. But um, anyway, those two would be my favorites. Now, the um, serum, it kind of goes, you know, you spray it. I usually use like half a vial. That is also like a hyaluronic acid type thing. And, you know, I could go on and on with the different products, but if you have hair like mine, that is, um, I would say my hair is normal to oily naturally, but because I color treat it, it's dry. And it's, I, you know, they always want you to address one problem. Do you need repair or do you need moisture? I think I need moisture mostly. And so I like, if I had you to try one thing and, you know, I really wanted you to love it, it would be the Renew Shampoo and the Revitalize Conditioner and the oil. I think the oil is great to put at the ends and especially when you first are going through detox and like getting all the gunk out of your hair follicles and off your scalp and stuff. I think it's important to, I used to really massage that oil into my scalp. Now I feel like my scalp, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of past that. I don't have to use that as much. So that is my two cents. <laughs> My, that is my 50 cents on my Nate. Oh, I got uh, a package in the mail today. I'm sure a lot of you, let me back up, have seen that my friend Yvette is back here on YouTube. And I don't know if she's still doing Beauty by Miss Outlaw or if I don't know if she's changed her channel name, but I will put a link to it down below. And the other day she did her 
you know, some of her favorite things. And she listed these leggings, and when she described them, I thought, I'm going to give those a try because Zella leggings are my favorite. And matter of fact, I had them sitting on my table yesterday, but I forgot to show them to you guys. I had ordered another pair because I gave Brooke my, um, what are the ones? Oh, Lululemon. Because to me, nothing compares to Zella. I mean, it got to the point where all I did was look for my high-waisted Zella leggings. I didn't even like my regular Zella leggings anymore, so I ordered another pair. But Yvette talked about these, and I thought, you know, I'm going to give those a try. And they're from Aritzia, and they're the TNA Equator Legging. And I think that a lot of you suggested these, and I accidentally bought, a couple years ago, I bought the really thick ones that are more like pants. And um, so I got them, they're mid-rise, skinny leg, I got the regular length, and the hem is customizable, which this is what she said that really got me, is the hem is just cut off. So you can cut it off to whatever length you want. But when she said it looked so cool and she had these little um, converse that she wore with it, I thought, ooh, I'm gonna like that because I hate, at the end of the day, you wait, it's kind of tight around your leg, and a lot of times I get the bunching or if you've been wearing boots. I just like the fact that there was not a hem down there. And um, made with Arant, our signature soft jersey for all day, every day. So I bought those and then I bought this little top. And I think this is gonna be a cool top that a lot of you would like because it reminds me of, here, let me see if I can. It reminds me a lot of like the Michael Lauren or all the tops that I love that are fitted through the sleeves. I think this neckline is a little different for me. It's kind of like a, it's not a wide scoop or a deep V. I think it's a really cool, pretty little, you know, different scoop. And I like that even though it's fitted, it's still kind of long. So for those of you that want something that's a little bit longer, and me, I mean, I think it looks good too. I'm gonna wear, this is just like a my everyday kind of like base layer. Um, I'm liable to just put on this and my, I think I'm gonna wear my new, Michael Kors shoes. Let me get them. Hold on. I think I will probably put these on with, um, I don't think I'll wear this. I'll probably just put on like um, another big denim jacket or um, maybe one of my denim jackets with the fringe. I like to just have fun or a faux fur. I kind of like to have like a cool base layer like this and then put on something neat with the jacket. And, or you could wear like a tweed jacket. You could wear a puffer. I mean, there's just so many things. This is just like a cool base layer. And these shoes, oh my gosh, I love these. And I know a lot of you got these and I'm so glad that you like them too. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this whole probably too long video and all of my rambling, but I really kind of wanted it to be a conversation and not just points that I read off of a pamphlet or something. And if you have any questions, ask me down below and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.